Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this uh, really fun painting of the... This is a workshop I did in Gloucester over by Stage Fort Park. And we were just finishing. Uh, and some of the artists were over here on this side. So uh, I'm going to do a sketch of it uh, starting... I drew the, the horizon line out there with the water <clears throat> and the sky, excuse me. And now I'm just sketching in the umbrella showing that uh, outline. The umbrella is going to stay white, so uh, you, you want to be careful about painting around that. But anyway, so I started with the umbrella and that main figure uh, doing the, uh, holding the, uh, she's really not holding the umbrella, she's just standing under it. The umbrella is attached to the easel. So uh, a, few, a few of the artists are walking away, I guess, and one is uh, Several one is standing there. The this woman is standing there. So just look, you know, uh, look at the figure, the head, you know, three and a half heads down to the waist. She's got a little waist with a uh, her apron is tied around her waist, and, you know, and then the legs come down. And they're all standing down below below the the little hump in the beach there. So. Look at the head, uh, how the head aligns with this head, with her head. That gives you the size, you know, so you could just sketch, sketch her head and, you know, pretty much the same, about three, three and a half heads down to her waist. Just look at the shape of her body, the way the arms go out. She's actually holding a painting in her hand that's out flat and she's got an easel hanging from that, uh, Okay, and the legs, and she's holding a big bag of uh, materials. There's her leg coming down, her other leg is bent going in. You want to get that because that shows uh, some action. Just look at the height of the knees, you know, and they're both in line. And there's another person that's in the background. That's actually my friend Isabel. <laughs> she's been with me for many, many years. She's a very good friend. Uh, she's in the background. You can barely see her, but she's. They, it's interesting that these three women have red coats on, which is beautiful because it gives you a nice balance uh, of color and it's a great contrast. That's the easel I'm sketching in there. These are French easels. Just study the mouth there, you know, the, the, and she's got a painting on the easel. Okay, and there's, there's the horizon line. Uh, I'm gonna put a little, uh, the, there's a jetty out there anyway. All right, so here's the other one. I looked at the alignment of the easels. Uh, the woman on the left is bent over thinking about taking her easel down. Uh, it's a big, big job for some people. So just look at the way the heads line up, you know, and take your time sketching it out. This is a very fun painting. You know, we don't do a lot of them with figures, but we should, we should do more. It's all about the figures here the way that it lines up, okay? All right, I hope that helped you uh, to watch. I sped it up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna get into the painting of this now. Uh, this is really a lot of fun, okay? We're just gonna begin with some cobalt blue in the sky. Just a nice wash of cobalt blue and bring it down. So we're gonna do the ocean now. You know, I wanna show you um, a little bit of what we spoke about in class, how you how you using the basically using the paper for your um, palette and mixing the colors on the paper. So I put a wash of rose on first. Now I'm putting a wash of this is ultramarine with just a touch of uh, raw sienna in there to gray it down a little bit. Uh, I'm painting around the umbrella. I got some uh, smudges in there that we'll take care of later. So this is ultramarine with a little gray. Uh, 
uh, gray ultramarine, a little raw sienna mixed into it, mixed onto the rose. And now I'm adding just a tiny drop of green into that. I'm just letting that come down. And I'm using all horizontal strokes, uh, giving a nice spray so that it comes down. And that helps, it helps to mix, mix the colors and move it down, okay? Just cleaning it up with a little bit of a towel. That umbrella's white, so we want to uh, keep that nice and clean. Picking up some drips. All right, we're going to get into the beach now. This is raw sienna. Uh, it's a little dirty, but it's okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. I want to show you how to mix colors on paper. So this is raw sienna, wash of raw sienna first. And you know how we make sand, raw sienna with rose. So there's a wash of rose on top of the raw sienna. Let that come down. And now we'll go back in and put a wash of uh, cobalt blue on top of the raw sienna. and just let that wash down. Okay, so now you have a nice uh, sand color. The sky was a little light, so I'm going up. I'm actually putting in a little bit of cobalt blue teal with the uh, cobalt blue, bringing it down in value a little bit. And I'm using the old credit card trick here, cleaning up the edges of that umbrella because the umbrella's white. I want it to stay nice and bright, white, clean, okay? All right, I'm going back. I'm going to put, in, in the photo, the, the jetty goes all the way out almost to the middle. What I'm going to do is cut it short a little bit to here. That's the jetty over by Eastern Point Light, and it has a little kind of a small, it's really just a little lookout tower, but it's in the shape of a lighthouse. And then I think what I'll do is put a little schooner over here, a little boat, just for a little balance. Very, you know, just enough to cause a little interest out there, but not, not enough to distract or draw any attention at all from these figures that are going to be so much fun. All right, all right. I'm just, I'm taking a pencil just to show you uh, the edge of the umbrella and how and the, the umbrella is very important here. So we want to get those edges nice and clean. And anything we, we don't have or we're unable to do, I'll, I'll go back with a little gouache. All right, this is a little violet, a little, little uh, of the rose and blue, very light. And then I'm putting a little drop of raw sienna in the middle of it. And if you look at the photos, you'll see that there's like panels on the umbrella. And uh, this panel is the darkest of them. It's a white umbrella. so, And this panel has a partial shadow on it just enough to cause uh, a little shadow. This is a very bright, you know, in the bright sun, so, okay. All right, all right, before I get into the figures, I wanna just put a little motion out there in the field, out on the water. So, uh, just some horizontal strokes. I'm just using the same a color that I mixed with the uh, water itself, you know, a little bit of uh, rose ultramarine and even a little green, but it, it doesn't matter, just a little darker color. It's very slight, you know, you can just barely see it, and it's all in the background. So once you do these figures, you won't even notice this stuff, but it just causes a little motion in it, you know, outside of that stoic sort of background. But. All right, using some uh, raw sienna with a little touch of cobalt blue in it to gray it down. Um, this is her jacket. It's a, a beige, beige color. So what I'm doing here is painting the whole jacket, the figure, down. It comes down below her waist. And uh, what I'll do is 
press my brush against the towel here so it's drier and I'm lifting out a little bit of light on her shoulder uh, on her back back side around the hips and then you know right down her arm there's some light that is her arm is outside the shadow of the umbrella all right the woman on the right uh, that's Marie Sweeney her uh, she's got this red jacket on and I'm just using cadmium red here with just a little touch of, uh, of uh, yellow light, cad yellow light, just a touch to, it's a very bright red. All right, so I'm just doing her jacket down to, she's got some gloves on and she's holding this painting flat. So her arm's going out under, under that paint, under the painting she's holding. All right. Okay. All right, now these other figures also have red on. Just paint, don't worry about the easels and all that stuff in front of them yet. Just paint the figures. Uh, she's bent over. This is my friend Barbara Dowd. She's bent over uh, behind the easel, and Isabel is here behind uh, everybody here in the background. So you can see the three of them have red jackets on, which is which is nice. We need a little color with all that gray. You know, it's, it's gray sky, gray water, gray beach. Not a bright day. Okay, she's in there behind the easel. Linda is in the front with the umbrella. All right, I'm gonna put in uh, the hair. Uh, Miss Marie on the right uh, has brown, beautiful brown hair. Uh, just using a little bit of Quincyana, painting around her face. I usually do it the other way where I paint the face, but all right. And Linda here has the same uh, very dark hair under the umbrella. And she has a hood and inside her hood is a lining, a black lining. And she has black gloves on. And a little tie for her apron, which is also black. All right. There's a, there's a bag on the back of this easel with supplies in it. Just, just a black bag. And it has a strap hanging down. And Isabel has a black shirt on that's showing through the jacket. You can just barely see that, so I'm just, you know, there's, the painting is in the way. She's doing this, Linda's painting is on the easel, so you can't see Isabel's head. Barbara has a black hat on and she's bent over so you only you see a, a side view of her face looking down at her and she has black slacks on. I'm sure it was cool this day. It's probably September, October. The water. Wind coming off the water. A lot of detail, you know, Isabel has black slacks on. Study the movement of the legs, you know, study them down to the, the knees and then how the knees, little turn in the knee there. All right. Um, over here on the right, uh, there's a shadow under her coat 
It's very dark, and that's what I'm putting in now. Her, her mittens, she has some black gloves on. And I'm using ultramarine blue here for her jeans. And that's a straight leg kind of hidden by the bag. And I'm going into the shadow and it pulls down to the to the other leg so it gives her a sense of mo motion you know a right, little little cad red with a touch of raw sienna Let's paint her face so i'm just painting her whole face this orangey sort of pink color and barbara the same over here we'll just see the you know we're looking down at her face so I'm just showing some color and here's Linda's got jeans on as well. Right down to the sand. We can't really see their feet. All right, so I'm just touching up her bag. These are canvas bags. So a little bit of raw sienna. A lot of light hitting that. It's a white bag. Okay, another canvas bag. Art supplies loaded with art supplies. All right, all right. I'm just adding a little tiny touch of uh, this is uh, gouache. I want to show the points on the umbrella and the edge just right out of the two gouache. Just add, putting the points on to show the curve of the umbrella. Okay. All right, there's a little raw sienna with just a touch of quinciana. Make the easels, these are French easels in various positions of going up and down. All right, Barbara's over here taking hers down. This is, I guess, it, I'm not sure whose easel this is. Well, it's, I think it's Linda's easel. And Isabel was there. Just study the photo out if you don't know uh, how a French easel works, but basically it's, all right, Linda's got a little shadow from her coat down on her, slat, on her jeans. A lot of detail on these in these figures, but they're fun. They're so much fun. It's really a fun painting, isn't it? Between the colors and the figures, and you know the painters, you know there's a lot of a lot of movement, a lot of action. All right, there's some shrubbery growing, which which is nice. It helps us show the curve there that's just ultramarine with some cobalt blue mixed or maybe a little ultra mixed in there uh, to make it dark use the side of your brush and get a nice sense of grass you know just push it up it's a dry brush so just push it up with a little little grass all right so finally um i'll Isabel's really in the shadow back there, so I'm putting shadow on her. And the last thing I'm doing, I'm taking the toothbrush and soaking it in the paint and just spraying the, the beach with little pebbles and so forth. Okay, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much.